Hey guys, I am back, and we are switching gears a little bit. Don't have anything sharp. Actually, it is kind of sharp. I lied. We do have something sharp, but not a knife. Uh, I have been threatening to start this tactical flashlight review and roundup for a while, and you know what? I've just been putting it off, but I am starting with number one today. This is from Power Style. This is a sample that they sent me. You're going to love this. Power light, energy saving, waterproof, motherfucking explosion proof. Yeah. So this is a really interesting light. You can see um, all the little specs they put on there. It is made in China. It comes in a box. It is honestly not a fancy box. It looks fancy. It is not. But let's take a look. Now, it's daylight now, obviously. I want to show you the thing in daylight. We'll do another clip at night so you can actually see the light work. But here's what you get inside the box. So here's the Cath Knight. When I first opened this and looked at it, I thought this was a damn taser on a flashlight. It is not a taser on a flashlight. This is used for, this is a self-defense flashlight. Interesting looking, right? So you can stab somebody in the face with this. You can hit him in the crown. You can like, I, you could probably kill somebody with this flashlight. Yeah, I mean, this is a lethal looking flashlight. It's really interesting. So other cool features of this thing, you've got a little line cutter on your flashlight right there. So you can use it to escape a car. You know, if this is like an emergency situation, you can use that to break a window, use that to cut your seatbelt. Let's see. It actually cuts through P cord anyway, pretty easily. Very easily. It has uh, different modes on there that we'll look at in the dark. We won't do them now. Another interesting feature that this one has, and I'm only going to do this momentarily, this one has like an alert siren on it. So let's see if we can bother the whole neighborhood. When I first took it out of the box, I thought this was the button to turn the thing on. It says police. It's not a very loud siren. I don't know how far away you can hear that, um, but it has a siren on it, so that's cool. And then you have your basic on off button, changes the mode, so a half click changes the mode. Comes with one of your, your kind of standard now flashlight batteries. Rechargeable type goes in there. It doesn't come with the little tray that allows you to use like standard batteries. Now, what I like about this one is that, yeah, if you have a charger for the battery, you can take it out and charge it. But this one has a built-in charge port and it comes with a plug. Now, this thing weighs nothing. This feels like air. What I don't like is that there's absolutely no markings on this that would let you know what it goes to. I have so many various chargers and stuff for different things. Now, yeah, I'm bitching and moaning. It's as easy as taking, you know, um, a paint pen or an engraver, or have you seen like the gold and silver Sharpies now that they have? All you gotta do is label it, yeah. But um, it just plugs right in and you can have this thing ready to go. I don't know about charging time because it came out of the package charged and ready to go, which is nice, which I like. I have not seen a lot of flashlights that are designed to be used not only as an emergency light, but as a self-defense escape tool itself, which is why I wanted to lead off with this one. Um, plus it's explosion proof. How do they prove that? I don't know. The weight on this is, is really good. It's, it's very light. Um, you'd think that with all this hardware up front, it would be kind of front heavy, but it's really not. It's pretty well balanced. If you had to use this in a self-defense capacity, it would be pretty easy to flip it around and just mess with it. It comes with this little lanyard, which is nice, but I would probably take it off for actual use because as you want to flip it around or anything, it kind of gets in the way a little bit, but it's cool. I mean, I could use this on something else. There's not a lot of real estate in between the head of the flashlight and this area with a line cutter right there, which is a little bit of a complaint for me and my giant gorilla hands. Um, I'd like to have a little bit more as I'm messing around and grabbing this or flipping it around so it doesn't get in the way. But other than that, I think it's fairly well designed. You get a good grip on it. I could see how it might get a little bit slippery when wet, um, but you've got some nice design elements up here that are kind of grippy, and 
you know, you can't cut yourself on that, and it kind of grounds your hand as well. So I guess that makes up for the slipperiness of the shaft there. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait a little bit until it gets dark. We're going to come out here with uh, some reflective material, and we are going to see just how effective this thing is. And that will be our first kind of flashlight review. And then uh, once we review a few more flashlights, we'll do like a big actual roundup and compare them to each other. I'm cold, I'm very cold. It's about 10 o'clock and here's the temperature outside and I'm doing this for you. So I've got a couple things I wanna do. So number one, let's see if we can get the camera to focus out here. Come on, focus. So we're going to look at the actual flashlight in the dark. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to use this cord. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you the actual name of this. I can't remember. But this has a glow in the dark and it has a reflective element built into the cord. So I'm going to hang it up on the fence over uh, at the back of the yard over there. And basically we're going to see how well the flashlight itself can illuminate the reflective element in addition to just seeing how well the flashlight illuminates stuff and then we've got some glow-in-the-dark material we're going to use to just spot illuminate the glow-in-the-dark and see how well it charges it to see how well the light works in the dark and that's how we're going to compare stuff when we do our roundup so let me get this set up this is also supposed to have a glow-in-the-dark element to it that is so lame when it comes to glow-in-the-dark like i can barely see it can you even see that? It's really lame. Um, this is the power cord, by the way. So I'm gonna cut for a minute and go hang this up over there. Now, for this stuff I'm doing right now, I'm actually using my Olight, which is my, my favorite carry. Uh, I'm prepared with warm weather gear for my feet, my favorite Yoda slippers. But other than that, I'm just ready to go. So, this is the Olight. And you can't really see much of the yard, but do you see the reflective element in the P cord right there? That's what's illuminating over there. There we go. Now this is not a bright tactile flashlight. This is just an EDC flashlight. I think it's on the lowest setting right now too. And you know what? My O light's not letting me change settings because the battery's dying, which sucks. But you can see the reflective element over there. Here's our calf knight. Now, I don't know why we're getting that kind of shimmeriness there. And I know the camera's having a little trouble autofocusing because we're in the dark, but can you see the reflectiveness over there of the actual P cord? There we go. Now it's illuminating everything, so the, the reflectiveness doesn't even matter. Changing to a less bright setting. Strobe and now our SOS setting. So not bad, but you can see how even in the peripheries, it's really illuminating the reflective quality of that P cord. Now, can you see anything in front of the camera? Probably not. This is glow in the dark 550 cord, which, you know, I, I've used sparingly you can kind of see a blob moving. It's it's a white color cord in daylight. Uh, it does glow kind of bright when charged brightly. So we're gonna use the brightest setting. We're just gonna charge it momentarily and then let it glow. And that's, um, that's a pretty good charge. I mean, just for a second, you know? It's fading pretty fast. Let's try it again. Give it a little bit longer. That's not bad. What I want to do now is just give it like an overall shine. So you can see, I mean, you can barely see if I cover up where we spot shined it, it's kind of illuminating. You can see the areas where the illumination is brightest, but it really did charge up well that area where we very brightly shine the light spotlight on it. It's weird that on camera though, I guess maybe because it's an LED, 
you're getting that stroby pattern. I'm not seeing that stroby pattern in real life. Not at all. And just as a control, I'm also not seeing that stroby pattern with my Olight either. So it just must be something with the way that it shines. Yeah, this Olight definitely needs to be charged. It has not been charged since I took it out of the battle box several many months ago. So that's a pretty good sign of this light. We're gonna look at this light separately though. Well guys, I guess that about does it for the uh, kind of the unboxing and the initial review of the Cath Knight. Interesting, interesting item. Um, you know, that siren didn't do much for us, and I don't know. I, I, I wish I had just, like, a whole supply of windshields and stuff. I could try all these glass breakers on and everything. But it's a different kind of flashlight, different design. But, I mean, you know, for the price, I guess you can judge for yourselves. I'd like to hear your opinions on this guy right here. Uh, what do you think in terms of its brightness at night? with the modes that it offers, you know, features and stuff. What do you think? So, flashlight number one of what we're looking at. I'm trying to balance all the different uh, kind of tools and, and stuff, and I don't want to do nothing but flashlights for like two weeks straight. You know, nothing but multi-tools, and I'm trying to kind of interspace them all and everything. So, anyway, um, so yeah, what do you guys think of this one? Um, it, it's interesting, and I'm definitely giving this one away for sure. So hopefully um, it'll find a nice home out there and somebody will like it. But I've got other stuff I need to get going now, different videos and such. So I appreciate all of you. You are all awesome. And I will be back again real soon.